Oh, is everybody doing? I hope you're all well. We're going to take a look at Pretenders. This is the original album series. You know those budget, uh, excellent value for money packages you see in music shops. You've got this card outer uh, sleeve and then it contains five CDs inside. All miniature LP replicas, I guess. Um, Pretenders are a great band. I suppose you could lump them in with the New Wave post-punk brigade from the late 70s. Yeah, yeah. When I think of Pretenders, I think of the cars, police maybe in some ways, things like that, you know. All the bands that came along that were really good uh, with a super slick, clean sound. This set is just a little flawed, really, because you have the first album, the second, and the third, and the fourth. But then there's an album from 1990 called Pact, and that's not here. So what you get instead is this one from was it 1994, 93 or 94? Yeah. So let's check them out. The first one is just titled Pretenders. I've seen some compilations where they're called The Pretenders, but they're Pretenders, you know. I think it was definitely named after the Great Pretender. That song, I think. Great Pretender. Um, this is a great album. I like this. I like the lineup here as well. You have. Um, Obviously, Chrissy Hind vocals. She's been on all the albums. She's the the main star of the band, I guess. But here we have Peter Farndon bass, James Honey, Man Scott, guitars and keyboards, vocals. His guitar playing is exceptional. I I kind of would. He's kind of like Johnny Marr of the late seventies, early eighties. Great guitar player, really good. Uh, and then you have Martin Chambers drums, vocals. The band are actually from England and Chrissy herself is from the US. This one has got uh, great tracks on it. I like the production as well. Kid, Stop Your Sobbing. Um, Brass and Pocket, they were big hits. And uh, yeah, great. This sounds fantastic. And uh, yeah. Kind of an essential album in its own right. Next up is Pretenders 2. Again, the same lineup here. Message of Love. I Go to Sleep. Yeah, I, I, I remember that in December 1981. I always liked that. I was only 12 at the time, but that song was written by. Ray Davies of the Kinks. Don't think the Kinks ever put it on an album, but I've heard a demo version of it. Um, Chrissy was involved with Ray Davies. Um, Talk of the Town. That's another good one. And um, yeah. Good album. Unfortunately, Honeymoon Scott passed away in April 1982. I think from a supposed drug overdose, and that was the end of the original lineup. And then in 1983, the bass player Peter Farndon, I think he died from misadventure, I think he drowned accidentally. So then you have learning to crawl. This has got two new members to replace them. This was released in 84. In the middle of the road, back in the chain gang. Um, 2,000 miles. That was kind of a Christmas track, wasn't it? Yeah. Ten line between love and hate. I find this one... You definitely miss Honeyman Scott's guitar playing. And yeah, the production is a little bit colder as well. Just um, you know, Chris Thomas, I mean he's a great producer, he produced 
lots of big names out in John. Um, but yeah, it, it's just some good songs on it, but it lacks something. I mean, obviously, look, the band were the, the remaining members were probably obviously, you know, going through a, a hard time after the original lineup broke. But yeah, that's just the way it goes, I guess. Next up is Get Close. This was pretty successful. It was released in 1986. Here we have Chrissy only. I think the drummer was sacked. Uh, he was probably going through a bad time. Uh, she, I think I was reading that she said his playing was getting pretty poor. This has kind of more polished style, very, very polished production. My baby, when I changed my life. The songs are good on it, you know. Um, Traditional love, don't get me wrong, that was a big hit. That was a big hit in August 86. Remember the video with Patrick McNee in it? Um, Him to Her, that's a great slow track. But on this album, you know, it's session musicians, there's a few different drummers, and there's also TM Stevens on bass. Uh, she went touring in late 86 with this band and all of a sudden she realised that it was not the Pretenders that she was used to and had in her head and um, she sacked them all. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, you know, it's a, it's a lot of typical 80s production, but... Uh, Nice Telecaster on the cover. And then finally in the set we get Last of the Independence. This is from 94. Um, and the lineup changes on this one. Um, there's even a Bob Dylan cover on it, I say. I know Chrissy did a Bob Dylan album recently. A Stand by You that was another big hit. She was getting good at the ballads. Um, Totally honest, I haven't really listened to this yet. Uh, the first two really do it for me. I, I love the first two albums. Um, all I've ever had was greatest hits. And even that, the singles is a great, a great, great album to have. If you have nothing else, everything is on that. Um, so yeah. There you go. Last of the Independence. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the set. I, I don't know, I think these things cost around 15 or 16 euros. I've seen them for less. Um, like I said, incredible value for money. If you want to have the actual albums in your hand, I still buy CDs and vinyl. I don't care. I, I'm not interested in having my music collection on a digital that can be shut down and denied the pleasure of rocking around the clock. I'm not going to buy that. I, I put music on my MP3 player, of course. You know, um, every time I buy a CD, I will digitize it. Uh, well, it's already digital, but you know, I will put it onto MP3 format and I put it onto my Sony Walkman, my media player, um, so I can listen to it on the on the fly. But I like to keep the uh, CDs on the shelf protected because um, yeah, someday there will be no CDs and then the computers will be turned off and you will have no music, but I will have music. And as long as I have electricity, I'll be rocking. So that's the Pretenders original album series. Um, for me, it's a pity that Pact isn't there because it should be in between these two, but it isn't. And you know, I've never heard that one either. As far as I know, again, Chrissy was the only original member on that album. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and take care.